three bridges, Hereford manager Josh Gowning. Uh, comfortable victory overall? Not first half. Um, I thought they made it very difficult. So a few naughty tackles in there, which cost us sack. But um, I just felt it was a good game. I, I thought, you know, they were an absolute credit. I mean, you can see now, I know they've lost the game, but there's kids everywhere. They made a right game of it. It's, it's a lovely place. It's a lovely family club. They're really respectful at the end of the game and they're an absolute pleasure to play against for a start and just a credit to the football club. So, you know, and well done to them for, for, for getting this far. But yeah, second half, I just thought bringing Tyrone on made a massive difference. Obviously, on a smaller pitch, we go a bit more direct into time, feed off that. And then I think we did that. And then I just think our fitness levels overall just took over and won us the game. How difficult was it, given the changes that you had to make, especially defensively? Yeah, it's difficult because obviously we brought Zach in. Zach's still ill. So he's still got, he's had the flu and we've had to just put him in. Um, obviously, Kane's been out with an ankle injury and then we've put him on. And obviously, he's, he's ended up coming off again with his ankle. So we kind of had a makeshift back four. Um, which was difficult and obviously wanted to give Miles an opportunity down the middle and you know obviously we played Kate again and he scored today and he, and he did well so we made quite a few changes so but hey that's that's the squad we've got and um, obviously making the change second half you know raise, raise the intensity and the levels and it, that, that's why you have players playing in you can play some different positions to get over the line. What was good to see is that despite the changes the system was still in place? Yeah look we work tirelessly you know m m myself we you know Alex, Jan or the whole staff, we work on you know what we want to do, how we want to play. So all the lads are involved in that. You know, it's not just the eleven; it's the whole squad. So they know their jobs, their roles when they're coming coming on off the off the bench, and you know it's that show today. Again, I thought McLean and Story were always a threat. How, how much of a difference do they make when they're on top of their game? Yeah, definitely. You know, I spoke to Ryan at the end there. I think he come alive in the last probably about the 80th minute. I think the second half he kind of lost his way a little bit in the sense of he wasn't tracking back in, getting into good areas where he could pick the ball up and drive forward. And when he started doing that and towards the end, he started creating. So but they're always a threat, you know, they're, they're, they're that threat in behind. It's difficult on this pitch because it's quite a small pitch. So there's not that natural balls in behind. But I, I just thought second half when we put Ty down the middle and, and, and played miles off him, we just looked, you know, such a threat in, in central areas and, and in wide areas. And how important was it for you, another clean sheet? Yeah, uh, there's like four and four now. So really pleasing, you know, Luke's marshalling it really well today, obviously Skip's not here today and Luke's obviously our vice captain and, you know, he talks to the organisers, he wants to win and he'll pull people around him. So, yeah, really pleasing. What's the latest with the skipper, Jared Hodgkiss? Yeah, we're assessing him. I think he's better than we think it is because at first I thought we, you know, we were looking at probably a grade two medial. So I'm, I'm hoping it's, you know, a mild grade one. So, you know, we can get him back in. He felt better over the last couple of days. So hopefully we'll assess him this week and, uh, and, and take it from there. It may be that things get a little bit better in the next seven days because you've got players seemingly close to coming back to fitness. Yeah, obviously Jack's trained the other day. Um, so he's back. Obviously, game was back and he's gone again. Zach, I mean, the tackle. I mean, if you see Zach's leg, I mean, he's got a thing from his knee all the way down. So I'm not sure how long he's, he's, he's going to be. So, yeah, we might have to look at it. Obviously, Jordan was here today. His knee's still a bit sore. So we're obviously still assessing that. And, you know, Aaron's not far away either. So, yeah, hopefully we can get these lads back fit. Any preference for the fourth qualifying round draw? Just a home draw? Some, yeah, something at home that we can get through to the next round. <laughs> Would be ideal, yeah. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to have something at home. Um, this is a, a, a long trip, you know, today. It's, I mean, lads have left, you know, really early. It's, you know, four, five, six hours, you know, on a coach to come here. So it's it's, it's a long old journey. And I think you probably saw that in the first 45 minutes. It was a bit leggy. Um, and then we come second half. But yeah, it'd be nice to get um, a nice home tie. Several hundred Hereford supporters here. How appreciative of you, of them, to make that long journey themselves? Yeah, actually, they were brilliant. I was speaking to some of them just on the side of the goal. Obviously, the fans were singing beyond the goal. We only sing when we're winning. So <laughs> I said it would be nice to sing all the time. <laughs> so, uh, but, ah, they're brilliant. You know, they come down here. I mean, this is a lovely place. So they've come down here, they've sang, they've supported the boys. You know, our fans are fantastic. And they're, they're a credit to the football club that they've come here. And it, it just felt like a really nice party atmosphere today. And it's, it's not very often you get to come to a club and, and feel like that. And finally, assistant manager gets a goal after his appointment. Um, are you going to give him a goals target now? I know, I know, yeah. He smiled at me as well. So I was like, oh, all right. So for now, he's taught me to put him assistant manager for him to score goals. It's unbelievable. No, I mean, it's good. That's what we need. We need leaders. And, and that's what Jan is. He's, he's led the dressing room well. And when we've needed him today, he, he's come and scored to, you know, to get us going. So that's what Jan brings. Um, he's, I'm delighted that he's, he's, he's took the role, of course. Um, obviously, replacing Burry. And he, he's got a lot of respect in the dressing room and you know me, me and him have worked together for years so um, just pleased to get him on board thanks for your time cheers thank you